Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy TTTTTTTTT. And in today's video, what I'm showing you is another wrestling toy company play set unboxing construction and review i got this on amazon.com and i thought it was a bathroom play set but apparently it's just a bathroom deal i don't know what that means i don't know what the deal is but let's check it out and let's see this exquisite packaging that this came in yeah it's it's just a plastic bag Okay, well, if you guys don't know and haven't been watching any of my figure toy company reviews, I usually roast them to say it nicely when it comes to their figures. Their play sets aren't too bad, but uh, this being $40, you know, for those of you that like to hate on this channel and say that I never do anything for the fans and stuff like that, just point out this video. I spent $40 on, <laughs> on a freaking toilet for my toys. So you guys can see what a true bathroom hardcore playset is. And I don't even know. And, and look at this. I literally just took it out of the packaging and there are already marks on it. So that's not doing too well. Uh, figure toy company or whatever but yes I have reviewed them in the past I gave them bad marks and stuff like that I don't even know if I can do construction here with this but yes this is a bathroom hardcore match if you're a fake WWE fan you have never seen a true bathroom hardcore match they happen every few months uh, obviously we all know that the signature WWE bathroom brawl and of course it wouldn't be a WWE bathroom brawl unless it came with a see-through table I know whenever I'm using the bathroom and uh, I realize oh man Wonder Woman must have been here with her invisible jet and she must have left her invisible table there because yes we have a clear invisible table um, don't ask me why this is, uh, I've literally never been in a bathroom with an invisible table, but whatever, this is a hardcore table match, so you need a table with the toilet on it or something, I don't know. And then, of course, what everyone needs in a bathroom is a ladder, because I don't know how many times I fell into the toilet and someone had to just throw a ladder so I could climb out of it. And again, quality control, boys! Look at that. Literally just took it out of the packaging, and there's already this gross mark on that. Gross! And then we got a sink. This this definitely does fit the bathroom feel. Uh, so that's good. That's nice. And the sink is actually a nice sculpt. I, uh, this it's there is articulation, but you can't turn the handles, which is a bummer. But yeah, there's good paint and stuff, and there's a fake washcloth, and it does stand up on itself, so that's that's good to see, and it's not like the toilet where it, it, it's okay. And then it comes with the door, uh, and it says, Made in India. So there you go, if any of you guys are watching this from India, uh, you just got a shout out. And uh, does this door break? No, this, yes? I don't know if this is like a playability function, but that's open is it supposed to rip or what happened here all right this is just like a, a door with some nice painting and it's like flexible it's not really plastic it's some sort of rubber or something like that let me zoom out i'm too zoomed in here and it does come with a doorknob that is not articulated this is just one piece but i will say that they did a really good job painting this and it's a nice door but uh i this is like indie wrestling playset. Have any of you guys ever been to an indie wrestling show? You go into the bathroom and the doors just like straight up doesn't work and the toilet and a sink and it's all like the grossest stuff marks everywhere. Yeah, I, and I'm not talking about the marks sitting around the crowd of that indie wrestling show. <laughs> okay, so uh, then, then we got this and I guess I'll put this together. This is probably the only thing I have to put together, which is uh, a breakthrough wall so uh hit the music i guess
All right, and then the wall is put together. So let's let's put this bathroom together. Hey, have any of you ever used a bathroom with like a a freaking window right next to it? That's always so awkward when you're like standing up and and you're looking outside and it's like, oh my gosh, someone's watching on me. Yeah. And yeah, so this is uh, the hardcore bathroom playset. So uh, if if you've never been in a bathroom, this is literally what what it's like. So then you could get like Braun Strowman, and he's like. Oh boy, I need to use the bathroom. I'm a Baron Strowman. So he, he he puts up his toilet seat, which uh, oh my gosh, look look at this articulation. There are that's so realismistic. Except for this always falling off. Uh, okay, so you got Braun Strowman. He's like, oh yes, I can't sit. I'm sitting on the toilet. Bless you. Uh, you know, he's all like, Beyblade, let it rip. And then what happens? Because this is literally the dumbest video I've ever made. Dead Man Undertaker comes in and he's like, Braun Strowman, feast your eyes. And Braun Strowman's like, hold on, I'm using the toilet. And, and Undertaker's had none of this. So what he does is he grabs him and throws him through the window. And then Undertaker uh, flushes the toilet, because, you know, always flush the toilet, guys, after you use it. And then he says to Braun, don't forget, wash your hands. And he picks up the sink and throws it out at him. And then he leaves the bathroom, obviously. And, uh, yes, he leaves through the door, and the door falls down, and because that's, that's, that's how it works. And then uh, Braun, he, he forgot, Undertaker forgot that Braun Strowman had that ladder right outside that door. So Braun Strowman is like, I got unfinished business, baby. So he, he climbs it back in the, the window and uh, and he makes it back inside. And uh, then he's back inside with the, the toilet and everything. And, and he takes the top of the toilet and he's like, Undertaker, I'ma hit you in the head with this toilet. Uh, or something, you know, and uh, but then you know what happens. He hears the classic calling card, booyaka, booyaka. Oh, and Mysterio throws him through that invisible table, but it must be like Japanese made or something, and it doesn't break. So Mysterio holds it up, and he does this his classic uh, six one nine. And it still doesn't break. So Braun Strowman is like, screw this. And he does his classic move, which is his uh, his uh, uh, package pile driver. And then Mysterio goes uh, flying through the window. And then Braun Strowman puts on his helmet. And he's all like, that's why. Um, never talk to people when they're in the bathroom. Give them the privacy they, they deserve and they need. Because you never know if someone's a talker or not when they're taking a pee pee, so always err on the side of caution. All right, guys. So this is this is what you get. I'm actually a, a big fan of this window with the breakable glass because obviously you can have so much fun with this with your wrestling figures. It's also something that looks like something you could use for figure photography. Although for forty dollars for everything you got here, I think that's woefully overpriced. That invisible table. What is the freaking point? Literally no point in this, especially because I, I couldn't get it to break by throwing figures through it. And I'll try again. Here we go, guys. I got the table all back set up. And here is a custom Naomi by Diva Adore that I'm going to see if this table can break. Because obviously when you spend a lot of money on this beautiful custom, you got to play with it to ruin that paint job. Okay, so I'm throwing it in three to just kidding guys i've never do something like that instead what we're going to do is we're going to get devon dudley to put your favorite wrestler's favorite wrestler bad finn balor custom through the table so let's see what happens here if this actually will work okay the t uh, it didn't break okay the leg came off okay let's one more time all right well, here we go take two Take three. Hey, it finally worked. So 
so there you go it broke the legs always come off though so yeah that's kind of that's kind of trash um i could make a lot of uh poop emoji jokes with this and poop jokes with this saying how bad it is but i won't i'll just say this the set is woefully overpriced at the 40 ships if you look at amazon it'll say 29.97 or something ludicrous that is still too much the toilet is a funny accessory but i don't like how that top is always falling off and uh, i bet you're gonna lose it or something in the future they probably should have just attached that uh, that part to it because other the, it just makes it makes it more fun or if any part was removable i'd have the seat be removable this door uh literally no point to it other than just a good looking door you could hit someone over the head with it you know like boom but i don't i don't know this is the best part uh obviously because these come flying out and they don't break off which is very smart and i wish that's something that mattel would actually uh figure out the ladder yeah, if anyone understands what the point of this ladder is, hit me up. And the sink, you know, the sink is a is a nice inclusion uh, to to the set because you gotta have a sink with a toilet. Sanitation comes first, but overall, I'm just kind of like, what's the point? <laughs> like, why is it? What? Yeah. Is this really a deal or not? You guys let me know. Is this yet again another Tommy's wasted tons of money to make a really bad video that wasted like your whole day or was this worth it was this worth it to pick these up and do you like the concept of a hardcore bathroom play set and think that someone else should try their hand at it let me know in the comments and until then i will see you guys in the next video Hoiga. hey guys and can i add just one more thing to this video i realized that it also came with an because of course you need an axe when you use the bathroom. But uh, another thing, it was supposed to come with a table that had a bunch of uh, barbed wire, but of course that was not included. So uh, yeah, I don't know why I keep buying things from these people, to be honest, because you guys love to see me review things that I hate, I guess. All right, so whatever, end of video, really, this time.